right. Well, that's not bad, is it? Not bad. Bloody dwarves. Oh, and with the, with the journeyman, actually, more TV. 200 more. That might be too many more. I've only got one ball. That's all right. It's sad that it's sad that I've got two hundred TV more and like not a lot really. Dodging a mighty blow <laughs> means a wizard. <laughs> a bit rough, isn't it? Oh man. I don't really think we're back to the PC and people actually get wizards instead of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. Holy shit, that was funny. I still can't I still can't get over that. I was so good. So good to be to be up 130 TV with 20k in the bank. I didn't have an app or dirty dingo. So yeah, the Apo 50. But still, the Apo's 50, right? And the Dodge is 30. And the Mighty Blow is 20. So that's still only 100 more. And like two wins, so like a fan factor of two. So it's still fucking... I guess he's had a bull die, haven't he? Or something. But still, it's pretty shit that he gets a wizard. Holy shit. When he's probably he's probably the favourite anyway. <laughs> and he gets a wizard. Oh god. Right, all caps. BK G equals. Ah, cool. B B L G F. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't get me to say a good looking half foot. I'm sorry. You gotta do better than that. Everyone gets the BLGF. Yeah, I guess he's down a. He's got three re rolls, though. Oh, man. It's crazy how much better his team is and he gets a wizard. <laughs> Fucking rookie chaos. I, gu I guess it's just the fact I was playing chaos on on PC was was what made me so depressed. And to, uh, to, this fucking desk is too high. I think that's maybe what it is because it hurts my wrists and stuff. Gets me fucking down. Whereas with being able to hold the PS4 controller comfortably, actually, actually a big difference. Need a little platform to put my chair on. <laughs> <laughs> like <a kick. laughs> yeah. Alright, I've got the anti bliss formation, so I guess I can just leave it like that. Bums follower. Oh, we'll protect the mighty blow guy a bit. No, it's the desk too high. Because, um. Basically, it's a desk with some wood on it. <laughs> Because you see, because Senai was here by herself before me, so she has a desk. And then <laughs> we put a plank of wood on top of that desk, which is actually about fucking two inches thick. Kitchen. <laughs> For kitchens, yeah, a kitchen, a kitchen counter to like, so we can both sit next to each other. And that means it's just too fucking high. It really is. Right, gotta pick up there. Don't make blocks. Don't even do anything. Don't just fail to pick up and then leave. No, not confirmed. <laughs> not confirmed, Mama Busk. I don't even want to make blocks. I guess I've got four here also. I can. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the exciting story of desks. Gotta make it three, haven't I? And then blitz him if he's still in contact. 
got him. So he can come over here. So obviously I don't want to blitz with a... Uh... P pity that I can't base him here. Could have been nice to have based him, wouldn't it? But then he'll blitz him. I guess he's not going to blitz the uh, loner anyway, is he? So I could leave him there. And I can even re-roll the pickup as soon as I've got four. Oh, baby. Dice rolls working and everything. Hello, Ducky. Yeah, well... <laughs> it wasn't the swelling. It's not actually so hot today, but... um. The key thing was um, not being able to get a game on PS4. <laughs> Trouble. Search for a game for 20 minutes, couldn't get a game. So, um, it is what it is. Good thing about streaming the PC is I get to uh, level up my Crusaders more actively. Shit, Jim. I could have sent Jim on that mission. Never mind here. Yeah. 91% for three legendary catalysts. All with shitheads who I don't use. I could do that actually. Alright. Didn't do a lot. Gave up blocks. Get a mighty blow blitz. Start with a mighty blow blitz. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, start with a mighty blow blitz. Because it's the one that I want to reroll the most, isn't it? Follow should I? Now if this is a push, I'm giving up the block. I was gonna say nice. Thought he fucking thought he'd have to use a reroll, but nah. 
course he had he's a shithead shithead dwarf isn't he it's gonna be tough to break through and protect against the wizard isn't it I couldn't get a game calcium could not get a game by the way what's the deal with your chaos I couldn't see it on the leaderboard were you were you were you kicked for concessions or did you just like rage delete them or Were they killed to death by you? Uh... Yeah, they collapsed. Killed to death. Oh man. It made me made me want to go for uh chaos to be honest. You were still top chaos though, right? <laughs> you were still top chaos. I would I would have kept them at least. <laughs> He's got it. Right, this is pretty nice because it's like layered screens, isn't it? I don't want to try and make a breakthrough when he's stunned. I've obviously got a man up, so I can go for breakthrough the next three turns if I can. Proper salt attack. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'll just do a smiley face. Well, I know how that feels, Calcium. <laughs> yeah, the season, the season ends in like 21 days. So, it's going to be tight. I'm literally going to have to play four games a day for 18 days in a row. 19 days in a row, that's it, including a day. <laughs> oh, you fireballed! Ah. Alright, it's held strong. So that, that was the point, wasn't it, of this layered, layered thing, because he just needed too much to go down, didn't he? Because they, there's still a screen with ease and stuff. There's still a screen with ease too, if these two had gone down, or these three had gone down, or whatever, so... I did like my setup to stop to counter a wizard then. Yeah, I, I, I thought I had stopped stopped him even trying a fireball with myself. And with him going for it, I think it was a, yeah, it was a bad time because the layered the layers of screens have done their job, haven't they? He's not even in range of the uh, bull, is he? I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He'd have to GFI with a bull. Oh, uh, GFI. He'd have to dodge with a bull. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's just blocked himself, so he's definitely not going to win. Definitely not going to bull. I can base with a bull, I guess, after he knocks away the beast man. So he's going to mans. He's going to all mens it. Oh man, AB7 failure. It's horrible, isn't it? It's horrible. Yeah, so he's just going to base the ball. That was a nice blitz into another block, was not it? I like doing that. But I don't think he, you know, he's gonna have to GFI three times, isn't he, in the fucking in the fucking snow. It's asking a lot to get this ball base. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Kelsey. I mean I've only played five games and I played a nine one one coach, so you know, it could be that the games are hard on the PC. Due to lack of... Oh shit, he's going for a foul. Oh man, 11 players sent off. Stun for a send off, please. Might have to stand all three of those guys up. 
see how it goes. Right, obviously you're gonna just blitz with Mighty Blow. I mean, kills two birds with one stone, doesn't it? Not only does it free up the ball carrier. It, um, I'm just gonna follow, I think, keep him based up. Well, not a stay, and then I can think about it. I wanted to assist here. Okay, I think that's probably the best play. Assist there. Drop him back to there. Him over here. Make two dice blocks and don't fail them, please. But it makes, makes it kind of hard to get forward. I mean, if these three stand up, they just all three get knocked down again. But it does take four players' actions, I guess. Guess I've got to follow here. So I guess I do stand these guys up. Yeah, Necros are pretty good. Best team in Blood Bowl too, maybe. Right, four. Four turns left, not so easy. At least he's blocking that. He's got four rerolls though, so blocking without block isn't really a concern for him. Is a bit shit, isn't it? Should be doing better than this with it burning his wizard. And uh, I guess he, the wizard did knock three players over, so that's going to take a hit on your on your progression, isn't it? Two legends on Curry, let's go. Hello, uh, hello, Goliath Games. It did. I um, I did replay it for you because I thought you'd be here. But seeing as you are here, I'll, I'll replay it again. I don't mind. Here we go. Yo, Jimmy, sexy tastic. Here's a donation for ya. I expect naked photos and farts in jars. Winking face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Goliath Games, but no, no, no naked photos of Arts and Jazz, unfortunately. Um, right, I wanna, I wanna break through. Hmm. 
And this seems the way to do it. Getting mighty blow applied to a bull center. Oh, should I do safe moves first? Yeah, I guess these guys have to stand up now. Because occupying players is good. What about the ball? Don't know, I want to see what happens with this blitz. Ah, do I need to see what happens with this blitz? Yeah, I do. I need I need him to be out of the way so I can get over. Yeah, they want to be there, so I have to I have to do the blitz first. Cajun is half. Is alright, isn't it? Raging Cajun. Turned a bit of a corner. He's got three guys on three there. But he's down the man, isn't he? So that's good. Full cage as well. Loving it. Maybe it's the warrior could have been in contact with a blocker there. I thought about it. I should have thought about it for the three minutes that I had. It probably would have been better, wouldn't it? Realistically. <laughs> gotta gotta base the ball carrier. All caps. Yeah, see, if I put the warrior in there, he's only got a 1D here, hasn't he? Or an uphill. So I gave him that 2D, but I'm not basing I think I should have based him. Hmm. And then he gets to put the warrior on a beastman, maybe, or assist over here. For another 2D that he shouldn't have got. So, yeah, I guess. I guess I fucked up there. Halloween Aryan. <laughs> I don't think the PS4 players are noobs. Well, not sorry, no more noobs than the PC players. When you think, you know, <laughs> when you think how many games you've won eight <laughs> nil, and Murloc Joe, like I thought it was hilarious. Someone said in my chat, you should score quick, and then you can win seven nil like Murloc Joe. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> does he really think that like Murloc Joe's an amazing coach of being able to win seven nil against? You know, crushing a noob 7-0 with Wood Elves is no, does not really take a lot of skill, does it? Mighty right, blows. Mm, not great. Not in a great spot. Glorious! The Lurker sub is alive. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brandhill. Thank you for staying fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh, see there? The one dice that was made. Oh, God. Get some fucking cars, obviously. Because he's a fucking shithead cunt of a fucking dwarf, isn't he? Of course he gets a fucking card. I guess I want to win so I have to have it, right? I don't have any good players. <laughs> <Yeah, PCL. laughs> That's true. That's literally true. Oh my god. That was crazy. He timed me out as well. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I tried to fucking give some advice. You know, to help out. And he timed me off. <laughs> I was like, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? Could 2D him, obviously, with a with a countering assist here, and then blitz him and then get more players up. Um, 
Or, could block him and then block him. And then blitz him and have less players. I think it's more important to have more players up, isn't it? So, if he goes there, we've both got an assist. <laughs> what was it Sage? <laughs> Wait a minute. I've listened too much to the search. He says people tend to overvalue basing the ball. Oh, really? Really copying off me, is he? Dirty dingo. One, two, three, four, five. Right, let's let's go there. And then it's still a cage, isn't it? Hmm. How do I do this though? That's good, isn't it? And this. And this. And then what? Blitz him. And then make a GA5. I fucked it up. I think I'm blitzing for a pound now. Oh, I got it. Got it, because I'm so good at blood ball. That was pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad play. I guess I should have... Um, Blitz with somebody else and done something else. I didn't need somebody over here, really. Graham! <laughs> oh, just a <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, this is pretty bad, isn't it? He's given up a 2D. But it is taking... Uh, it's only taking a 1. Like, that's the thing. I think if giving away a 2D for takes up 2 players' actions isn't so bad. But just giving away a free 2D... Um... Like, these two are just free 2Ds, aren't they? Whereas if he dodges and goes here, sure, he's given away a 2D still, but he's got he's got to then activate four players to get 2Ds instead of two players to get two 2Ds. Do have the reroll still activated. Let's go for it. Brilliant. It was a loner. And he still made it. I mean, that's okay. I mean, I, I, I explained my rationale, didn't I? <laughs> Fucking sage. <laughs> nah, I did a winky face, so I think I think it was a joke. I did write that, shouldn't I? Pretty good, wouldn't it? Be zzzle, bzzle, 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 bzzle. No, bzzle one one. Bzzle, bzzle. <laughs> Do you know what? I really like idols through time. I wish, I wish that was the mo the highest rewarding um, free play one. Uh. Because it's so much better than there's fucking dinosaurs now through time. It's fucking awesome. Fucking dinosaurs. How good's that? I say no, it wasn't Sage. It was some some dude. It was some dude on the internet, and like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he um, I don't know if he, you know, if he knew how to play or thought this was actually like I don't know if he thought he was playing Blood Bowl, or you know, he was happy just to do dumb shit and chuckle to himself or. Like he seemed to be getting a bit salty when he rolled badly. Like when, well, no, sorry, when he failed things. And like to the point of timing me out when I was trying to be helpful. So, I think he probably was genuinely trying to win and just thinks it's a dice game where it's just entirely Yahtzee. And I don't know, it just, it just seemed like nobody could be doing the things he was doing on purpose. 
<laughs> to be honest, because he was just... It was just crazy what he was doing. He was just like leaping for no reason and blitzing the wrong guy, you know? Like, he could have just dodged. With, with, a, with a blodge mighty blow guy, he could have just made a three plus dodge to hit the ball carrier. And instead, he stood up his war dancer, made like some dodges, made a leap, made two GFIs, and then used up all his movement and couldn't blitz with the war dancer. So, at this point, I was just like, my mind was blown that somebody could be that bad at Blood Bowl. <laughs> right, block there, get him round. Get him round. And blitz with him. It's a bit fucking crap, isn't it? I mean, I can make dodges at the end of the turn. Yeah, Kanori didn't like it when I, when I tried to be helpful. In Kanor's stream, he didn't like it. Right, if I go on the sideline there, it's, he can't really surf me, can he? I don't think. And then him make... Oh, he's the loner, though. Fuckhead. I mean, this is just huge, isn't it? This one, if I fail it, he's he's in. This one, if I fail it, they're not in, but it's a loner. Um, he's got to stand up just to get in the way a little bit. Good lad. And then now he can go in and make it a bit, a bit safer here. Oh, beautiful. And there's kind of no need for these to stand up now, is there? Or do anything else? <laughs> Look at that giant scrub. No, just scrub. Um, Yeah, well, I, it's not like I was challenging his lame opinion. It just, it was just so bad. Like, like Kanor knows how to play, doesn't he? To an extent, like he plays just like not great blood ball. Yeah, Kanor doesn't want his chat to think he's not the best. Yeah, exactly, Don Doctor Mombosco. Exactly that. That was Kanor's viewpoint. I think. Um, I think that was Kanor's viewpoint that he, um, yeah, he doesn't want. He doesn't want people to think in in his stream to think he's not the best. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a fair analysis of why Kanor was was a bit was a bit lardy with me calling out bad plays or whatever. Um, but yeah, Kanor's been playing for decades. Was this guy was just just it was just crazy, you know? He was just like he knew not to take the auto pathing, so he wasn't completely new. But I, I, you know, I was just I was just trying to like. I wasn't, I wasn't, I was careful not to criticise him. I wasn't just saying that was wrong, you're shit. Um, and I didn't do that with Knorr either. Well, I didn't think I did. But, um, well, yeah, Skrull dude, but I mean, this was clear, you know, the, the one that he made was crazy. And, and, and it's just like, so yeah, you know, I was just like, you could have done this and stuff, or whatever I was saying, and like, things like that, I was being like, I don't think I was being that bad. Canal. And, uh... Well, I mean, fucking Lupak banned me, didn't he? So, like, maybe Lupak didn't like me saying that was bad or whatever. I, I, I don't think I've been... 
No, I didn't call him a cunt, no, no. I, I, I try not to, I just think you could have chained him out there, or why did you do that, or things like that. I don't think it's that bad. Certainly not like AstroTor calling me a fucking moron yesterday. Like, you know, I didn't say anything like that, why did you? I've never said anything like, why did you do that fucking moronic play or anything? Um. Why make that GFI? Stupid. See, there you go. He's just he's just said it himself. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, exactly, BZ. I do remember that, yeah. He's super overreacted, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was the extra arms over sure hands, yeah. Um... <laughs> no, but there's offering opinions and offering opinions. Yeah, exactly. See, like, I think Ed the Mad does it the wrong way. And I I honestly don't think I've done it in the wrong way. Um, but maybe I have. But I haven't... I haven't thought I have. Right, 3D... with him. Uh, I, I, they probably can't reach the 3D, can they? I might just have to go for this 3D. I'm not going to make a 2D. Yeah, it, it's full movement, so I can't make it 3D there. Um, but yeah, 3D him. 3D in a hob isn't isn't too bad, is it? With a reroll. 27 times 27. Let's fucking go. Don't know what that is. Enough for me to go for it. Yeah, extra arms instead of two arms. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Still going good, Mighty Boom. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. I haven't hated it so far, so that's that's great. Um, I helped that I was 200 dB up, <laughs> but it really doesn't feel like it's that big of an advantage. Um, you know, treat them out with Chaos Dwarves and me having Chaos. But, um, I haven't even set up properly with his. I saved it and it wasn't even a proper setup. Did no damage to 11 players with a Mighty Blow Blitz every turn. And um, that's disappointing, isn't it? And probably, and have taken taken a Kaz. My, he didn't have an Apple, I've used mine. And I've hit with Mighty Blow every turn and he hasn't hit with any Mighty Blow. But, um, you know, just quietly. Just fucking loudly. Um, I guess I should save it like this when it's a better setup. I'll make a better setup and save it. <laughs> no longer life partners. No, it was a while ago, but I mean, he obviously didn't like me saying stuff, and I don't think I was being an asshole about it. I really don't think I've been an asshole about it when I've, um, when I've, you know, questioned plays and stuff. And like, like, um, like Fash says, you know, like that. If people criticise me in a reasonable way, I tend not to just to try to defensively justify what I've done. I'll think maybe. Sometimes I'll obviously defensively protect it when people say that I can't defend against one turn when I really don't believe there was a better way to defend against them and stuff. Um, <laughs> you're banned from versus. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there you go. Honestly, I try not to be. I try. Maybe I am, but I really try not to be. And I don't think I am, but yeah, you can time me out for 10 minutes. Because everyone's just saying about how unlucky he was, and I was like... They said like, oh, because he, he, he got, he got really lucky. He got really lucky. Well, it's different when I'm streaming because then you get emotional, don't you? It's different, different when, when I'm streaming myself. So yeah, I, I guess I get wound up by chat, which may be innocent. So yeah, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not just heaping um, insults on these other streamers. Um, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, it was just weird because it was just so bad. Like, he was just so terrible. It was lunacy what he was doing. It was just absolute lunacy what he was doing. I just couldn't even believe it. It was, it was 
sheer insanity. I mean, he wasn't scoring against the AI with a 2,200 TV Woodhouse team. Like, you've, you've, got spe- you've got to make an effort. <laughs> you've got to make an effort. He nearly lost. If, if, if the AI had tried to score, he would have lost. <laughs> and it's like, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Yeah, you go out bash. Fucking typical. And it's not that crazy, but I have hit his armor seven, haven't I? I got a couple of KOs where they both came out. Um. Yeah, that's that's fair enough, Colin. Like, it's fair enough, you know. Like, no one's perfect. I'm not. I have done it before, maybe unjustified. But his was great. Like, you know, it's one thing if I've made like a, let's say, a ninety-five percent perfect play, and you call out the hundred percent play and say. <laughs> BZL, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> so, like, you know, like if if you've said something that was like, you know, said that my ninety percent play was a was a seventy percent play, or you know, I could have made a ninety five percent play when I made an eighty percent play, or whatever, then it's a bit different, isn't it? But he's just fucking. He was just awful. He was just really awful. And I was just like, don't make so many GFIs and leaps. <laughs> you know, maybe I was just like, so I said something like, oh, because they said Nuffle is fickle or Nuffle favours something or whatever. Or they said something about like Nuffle liking different players or something. And I said, he only tends to like the ones that don't make GFIs and leaps for no reason. <laughs> and he timed me out. And I was like, but it's true. You don't have to GFI twice every single move, you don't have to leap. When you could have just made a 3 plus 2 plus dodge with dodge. You don't have to just leap out, do you? <laughs> He's just making leaps for no reason. GFIs for no reason. And, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't think there's there's something to, to, to throw a fall gobble bill, no. Um, no, it wasn't stripping, it was... Uh, it was someone else. <laughs> Invictus or something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Ironically named Invictus. <laughs> no, I don't know what he I don't know what his name was. <laughs> it was so he was just playing like an absolute lunatic. And like, you know, like I could see how like, you know, somebody could play like that for fun. Like I wouldn't think it was fun. But I could see how, you know, you could you could be role playing and stuff and like be come on best for goal you could do it and do like dumb plays so that best for goal hopefully succeed and stuff like that i can understand that um to an extent but yeah it was just it was just weird that he was all of his chat were like oh you're the best you're so unlucky i was like really really though Really, like I had to say something because I just thought I don't want these people watching this game to think that Blood Bowl's a shit game. <laughs> you know, and I thought it'd be better. Like yeah, he had over a hundred viewers, and I was like, you know, if he was good or just at least competent, um, it'd be better for the game, wouldn't it? And no, I just got timed out, and I was like, fine. I said I want to help, but I don't know what to write, and it was true because I just thought I don't know. I don't know how to do it. College one two one newbie grinders, yeah. Sin Victors, yeah. Yeah, that's the one BZL, yeah. Yeah, I guess true. I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah, Sin Victor or something like that, yeah, that's right. Ah, yeah, of course. Look, next four skulls. The four skulls or whatever are... You know, if this is a Kaz, it'll be sad, won't it? <laughs> God. Um, yeah, it's just... It is what it is, isn't it? Fucking blood ball. I can't believe I, he, he, I did no damage to him. Well... <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm too fucking. But it's, it's not surprising, is it? He's 75% knockdowns. I'm only 55% knockdowns against him. He's 75% knockdowns against me. So it's not so bad. Um, but yeah, an armor 8, obviously. 
Yeah, it was just it was just weird, and he was just like, he had his fucking player, some player, some some war dancer was like called something, you know, like Robbie Savage. Let's imagine he was called Robbie Sa Savage, and he's like, oh come on, Robbie Savage, you can do it, and he just did everything the war dancer and stuff. And but all of his players have skills as well, but he was getting really excited every time he activated the war dancer, and um, yeah, I don't know, it's just like. I just wanted to, um, I wanted to be constructive, and not even constructive criticism, just I just wanted to be constructive. <laughs> it's just hard. I didn't know how, how to do it. <laughs> I've got to go for the, like, the one or two nil win now, haven't I, because... He was enjoying football. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the fuck was he playing at? Enjoying blood ball. Jesus Christ. The <laughs> fuck? Enjoying blood ball in 2017. Imagine that. Whew. Don't mess with path, I go. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is the sign of a noob, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. The sign of a noob, enjoying it. And then you enjoy it so much, you get hooked, and then you're like... Then you're just like, oh. Well, hey, look, I've been all right last couple of days. No. Maybe I'm over it. Can't mend this turn, can I, with the two stuns? Oh, why was a kick in the end zone? Why couldn't this happen when I was using Dark Elves? My Chaos can't even capitalise, can they? It's pathetic. This is what I mean about not being able to capitalise against like bad players. Not that El Gyro has played bad, really. But if he was terrible. Let's say he was completely terrible. For example. If he was completely terrible. Dark Elves would be blitzing. Put the whole team in between the ball carrier here and they just win they've just already won on like turn 9 they just win the game that, with that kick and Chaos just can't you just gotta dick around doing things Good enough for an elf screen, that, if you ask me. I mean, that, that's all Chaos can do. Just blitz a guy with Mighty Blow. <laughs> Hope for the best. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's a bit lame, isn't it? Tiny only should go from the play ten dwarfs in a row. Yeah, dwarves and, and chaos dwarves are the team to play when legendary edition hits, because there's goblins, halflings, ogres, and amazons and underworld, and you've just got a brutal matchup against all of them, haven't you? Oof, unlucky ducky. Dark elves are slow, but they've got the blodge and they've got the edge four. So they can just do stuff, can't they? Like, obviously, yeah, Wood Elves and Skaven punish bad players and mistakes the most. But um, Dark Elves just give you so many more options, don't they?
Yeah, high elves are. High elf catches proper annoying leveling them up. Oh man. Like, they obviously have the biggest potential of all the elf teams, but you just so rarely realise it. So he's he's keeping it backfield, which I can't say I'm a fan of because he's pretty slow. And it's going to be hard from like bears forward, isn't it? Can blitz the bull here or hob there? Can't reach the hole. Don't like it. Sent off for a stun. Probably. That's that's when I foul when I get, when I'm happy with getting sent off for a stun. So that was a shame not to get the blitz on him, wasn't it? I don't want to make all three plus dodges out. Could stand everyone up, man's them, but. I need a fucking knockdown to get a bit of momentum, I think. Could could blitz there, but it just doesn't do a lot. We're only having one warrior over here. And blitz him. Got him. <laughs> After I've moved the other one. So now, the manzing would be alright, wouldn't it? Could have mans, could have followed, move in, stand everyone up, move in, and everyone's base, and it becomes a bit tricky for him. But now, it's a, almost a little bit too late for that. It's not totally late, though. Not a fan of the half mans, but when when four of them are guys that are standing up, you do get get quite a lot from it, don't you? He can block him, so I don't really want that to happen. Green put him in there. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> right, that stops the assists and stuff. I think this is a decent turn. Yeah, save moves well, does backfire sometimes. That is a true. That is a true. That is a true story. It it safe moves first is actually what cost um what cost Bernie Buffon the uh, PS4 championship. In fact, it was literally he literally lost because he made play 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 moves first, safe moves first. I can't speak. Fucking hell. Safe moves first is literally. What lost him? Because he moved two players in case he failed his one dice blitz. One dice surf from Griff. And he moved two guys in case he failed it. And then he succeeded, and the ball went, got thrown back in the, from the crowd, and he had no one left to move to, to. And then he ran out of time as well. I mean, if he hadn't run out of time, he could have made a dodge, maybe made it, and uh, gone for a pickup. But, um, you know, he was still based. So. It was still bad.
Whereas if you'd had those two guys free that had essentially done nothing by making sequence first, if you'd had them free, you'd have picked it up and it'd have been alright. Alright for him. And then he would have won with 5 and 0 Bretts. Yeah, and Sleepman's first cost him 250 I will. <laughs> I mean, he liked it. it. To be fair, Fash liked it when I deliberately didn't move a Dark Elf. So that if I made the... Like, I think I was trying to surf the ball carrier, or at least knocking him near the sideline. So that if the ball went out, I would have had the, uh, I would have had, I had the recovery on. And he liked that. Um, so he doesn't slavishly... Obey Satan first, but uh, it's obviously genuinely good. And these warriors are a bit stranded, but at least he's made his move now. At least that you know they can come back in and base people effectively. And he did use a lot of players to deal with this warrior. Three players to knock him over isn't that bad. And he's got a 1D if he wants a 2D. Well, yeah, it's it's still in action, isn't it? It's still utilising a player's a player's action, yeah. But you know, if if he had if if Griff had failed his dodge or failed his GFI or scored the one dice block, then maybe it wins him the game, moving the safe moves first. So. <laughs> it's like, it's just, you know, it's you can't really say if it was right or wrong based on the result, can you? But as it happened, as it happened, the safe moves first cost him. But on another day, the safe moves first would have uh, would have saved him the game. So you, you can't just say it was wrong to make the safe moves first. But the fact is that had he not made safe moves first, he would have had them. I would not keep AV catches unless they were literally a one turn on the legend. One turners are an amazing player to keep who's um who's injured and shit, you know, but everyone else is like a bit blah. A bit blah. Right, I'm gonna go for a bit of marking here. I don't hate it. I wanna blitz a hobgob there. This warrior I moved him first so the warrior could get in there, because that's a great place to stand, isn't it? No doubt. Mighty Blow can block him. To here and not follow, and then he can go one, two, three, four, five. That's okay. He can block him with two assists now. And then he bl blitzes him with an assist to keep him safe. So this guy can go here. Right. He could go and tag him. Don't know if it's worth it though. I think following was bad because it'd be giving up a 2D pretty easily. You could. No, I can't base the hob. Like his strength 4 mobile player, it's a 1 for 1 trade. It isn't great, is it? But it's the equivalent of basing the ball, isn't it? He's got to use his blitz to deal with him. Or not. <laughs> that all wouldn't fit on anymore. But even then, yeah, like, even doing a thorough analysis, it's not obvious what it would be, is it? Um... But yeah, well, it's safe moves first in that. Like, literally making safe moves first cost him, as it happened, as the dice fell. But it could still have been the right play. 
couldn't it? Overall, it could have been the right play. I'm not saying he misplayed by uh, by moving them first, but I wouldn't have. <laughs> I wouldn't have done what he did because I just thought it was uh, it was too likely that it would work. You know, he essentially just had a two plus dodge with dodge. Three, three, two, two or no, I think three two plus GFIs with with sure feet, and then a one dice block, which is a surf and a three plus. Um, only turns over on a one. The bad thing about basing the bull here is obviously, I could have just brought him back as a safety, which may have been a good idea. Yeah, base the ball. Base the ball run, base the ball. It was the same idea as basing the ball. I mean, I was basing him with a lot of players, wasn't that? So it wasn't. It wasn't dumb, I don't think. I don't think it was dumb. Oh man, one day. And like the one D's aren't bad, are they? Like, I'm not slating. I'm not slating him as a coach for making one D's. It's a two plus roll, isn't it? He's only strength three. I've got strength four. I don't hate it. God, yeah, ball basing him out would be good, wouldn't it? I mean, this would have been a better situation for me if he had the ball down as well, so... Oh, he blitzed. So, yeah, he used his blitz for the turn. Will GFI to score this turn? Be sad if he makes it. Yeah, maybe I should have brought him back as a safety. Eh? I'm wondering if I can get a surf here with chains. Um, maybe. It takes a lot though, doesn't it? I'll just do one thing at a time. Let's see if it works. All right, this this block first of all. Block him into there, which would chain him to there. He could blitz. No, double GFI to blitz him to there. And then could block and block. Seems a bit horrible. He can dodge, no, he doesn't even need to dodge if he blocks him. One dice. All right, one dice isn't so bad. I didn't move the guy first. Oh, oh my fucking god! 
Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work if you don't... So yeah, if I'd put him in there, I could have chained him there with a push. Then he could have one-diced him. Nah, but then he would have been here, so that it would have only really worked in the power anyway. Alright. Oh, that was fucking dumb as fuck, wasn't it? He could 1D him now. To get him in. But again, that doesn't really do anything. That isn't so bad, though. Oh, fuck. Get him in there. Don't hate it. One day here, it's got the potential. The potential to be amazing. I, I guess the skull doesn't matter anyway, right? So this this is being a what both there. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not good, obviously. It's horrible if I skull, but it's better than not doing it. I think. Bums follow. Right? Get him in there. Jammed up pretty well. Don't want to risk a turnover there. <laughs> it's funny that I talked through exactly what I was going to do, then just didn't do it. <laughs> but it worked out pretty well anyway, didn't it? it? Worked out pretty well in the end. It would have need a, it needed a POW to work how I wanted it to work. So, as it happened, with it being a push, not not doing that first in matter too much. Leave it back. Pretty tough turn for him, I think, now. Because it's not... I don't think it's super easy for him to break through the middle now. With a warrior here and a screen here. Warrior here. Three guys on two. Doesn't help him. Bulls limited. Stud just opens with a 1D power. Fair enough. I mean, I ended my turn with one to put insane pressure on, didn't I? So. That just lets him move back, though, doesn't it? I think he could have got an assist in there, probably. Because you've got to think when he's blitzing, isn't he? And if he's going to blitz with his ball, shouldn't he have just blitzed first and then cleared that assist so it could have been two assists? You know, could have two deep beat him and stuff. Oh my god. Huge. Huge, isn't it? I don't know what. I don't know what his play is. Another one dice. <laughs> is he going for the touchdown? But he can't, can he? He can't score this time. But that clears the ball, I guess. So I guess that's why he didn't blitz with the ball first. GFI, fill the GFI, oh god. That's what we need.
Fill the chair fire, please. No. Of course not. Three armor breaks. <sighs> Falling out of love with Blood Bowl right now. No last retort. It was just to set up a potato. Oh man, fucking... Oh, was, it, was it only two stuns? Two stuns though. Out of the fucking 1D, all the 1D pals. Three plus dodge. Another 1D. Yeah, it is. It is hint to a draw now that he's made every 1D pound under the sun. Just so he could potato. Wow. <laughs> God, fuck off. <laughs> hey, skull on the last one. Get in. Get the fuck on. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Right, so I gotta blitz him so that I can push him this way to get a 1D on him. Ah, right, well then I can block him first as well and then get a 2D on him. So he has to stand up. And I have to not re roll a push. Now this one has to be re-rolled, doesn't it? Um, do I stand him up first? If I block first, I'd rather block and then stand him up, but and then he could get in here or something. But on the other hand, if I'm using a re-roll here, I've got to accept the ball down, haven't I? Um, I think at this point I have to accept the ball down. Oh, got him. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Guess I should learn that I don't want to be able to train next to sideline. Yeah, it's not great. That was a good, good stun, wasn't it? A timely stun on the ball there. But still, he's got the fucking ball. Well, that was a pretty huge failure there. Again, the last one. Ah, no, I wanted to make this block as well. But good that I stood him up in the end. It was pretty huge to get the loan around here. Um... Pretty sad they didn't get to get the loaner on there, but still three tackles on the ball. Got to be all right, hasn't it? That ball carrier seems not completely protected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's uh, afternoon here, Bob Rob. Good afternoon. I mean, now he's going to wreck me because obviously he's got two dice. He's had, but you got to expect a, a fucking pounding, haven't you, against dwarves and you get the two dice on you. Might get a one nil here. Does that include taking a double down though? I'd only taken double down on the last block.
Well, not on the last block, on the second block. The first block I wouldn't have taken the double down. So the first block is a 55% there, and the other two are 75%. Fuck off! <laughs> Holy shit, man. Fucking dwarves. Just dwarves doing dwarf things. He blocks him, follows. Can't get a 2D on him unless he blocks him or something. Gotta hit the Gotta hit the bull somehow. So if he blocks him and pushes, then that's occupying that. He can blit him. Don't go for the pickup. But on a power gets to assist there. He dodges out at the end of the turn. Alright, so these guys just stand up. Should maybe move him an extra square. I just click too fast. I should click slower. That's the good thing about the PS4 because I'm so terrified of uh, pressing the wrong button and stuff. Uh, I tend to play slower. Though I did, I did play fast one turn. And it fucked me. Not great, is it? Do I just go for the block now then? He could go for the dodge out and sandwich. I guess I just gotta go for the block, knock down. He can blitz him on the ball, maybe do something. Maybe double mark on the ball. Oh, baby. Got the two rerolls, haven't I? So I, I, the, my turn 16 doesn't matter. So. Nobody knows Patras. Um, it is. It is just um, when Legendary comes out, which is still, still unknown as of yet. Maybe it'll get released at E3, the, the movies at E3, they'll uh, not released. At E3, maybe they'll set the release date. Release the release date doesn't really work, does it? Announce the release date at E3, maybe. That was a, that was a nice dodge out from the lawn, at least. But it would have been really good to sandwich him there. That would have been amazing. Amazing dodge. But like that's about the same chance to work as his fucking one his fucking uh, blocks, one D blocks. But it does does let him make a one D or something, doesn't it, potentially? By freeing that guy up. It was a bit of a risk.
I could have made that one day anyway without that guy. Gets a power as well. I mean, the dodge doesn't matter, but still, the power's annoying, isn't it? Gets the scatter, it'll obviously go here. No. No, <laughs> it does! Fuck off, man! Oh, God! I fucking hate PC Blood Bowl. Fuck it, right, I'm on the PS4 after this game. Can't handle it. What the fuck was that? The fuck was that? It goes the opposite direction. And then he does a one-dicer. Fucking rando one-dicer. See you later. Whoa. Can't handle it. <laughs> Why not? What up? Take a one-dice. Can't believe it! It went the other way, and still ended up perfect. Like there was two perfect scatters for him. It went the other way, so it couldn't possibly end up badly, and then fucking run ended badly. Holy shit! Fucking outrageous. That is outrageous. Of course he can. Oh, might fail. No, right, fair enough then. Good. Whew. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right. Could block him first. So that if I blitz him in the clear, could now that that's the play. I guess just stand him up. Did make the push not good enough, but never mind. No, oh, baby. Go here so he can block him. But then it means he can base more easily. I don't know. Warrior could block him so he's still based. You can get the assist easy enough. I don't want him to be able to chain anybody onto him. Especially not. He can just run away. If I could clear him, I could 2D him. But I think occupying. Him is better. The dodge. I get the block and then get protection. So I've got to just make the dodge. Oh, baby. <laughs> the fucking pushes are real. Pretty good. I'm making some one dices now. Right, you blow. No, no, I, don't, I don't care about scoring. You know that that this situation is exactly when a, a canoring threat is bad, isn't it? Because you know I could have I could have run him up down the pitch in case in case I could score myself, but. It's just dumb, isn't it? Gotta stop. Gotta stop him scoring. Um, Let's nice, just block here. I could have blocked that hob on one day, maybe. Hey, hopefully, this is good enough. 
still scary. Yeah, that is when it's actually a Canoring threat. Yeah, exactly. That is the that there is the quintessential um, Canoring threat. Leveling up faster does help, yeah, but in the grand scheme of things, risking a win for a draw isn't worth it, is it? You know, I think that you've got to recognise when your odds to score are so low that it's worth going for the what yeah, securing the win, yeah. You've got to and that's that's it, isn't it? Or whatever. Whether securing the win or a draw, just make sure you get the result. Um rather than going for a better one but with the chance of getting a worse one yeah I realised he could clear this hobgoblin by doing this but it's a struggle from the score isn't it like he might be able to hit the ball but what the bull what the bull dodges away in GFIs three times and this one picks it up and passes to him can't see it happening <laughs> it's what everyone thinks, isn't it? Why ducky? <laughs> like it's really not easy to get the ball off a dodger and score. I don't think it's easy. Yeah, I guess that's that's a good point. <laughs> Tony Callis, yeah, at least at least if you're gonna be if you're gonna be playing Ducky, at least it's when he's got seventy k alignment, so he ain't gonna foul you. <laughs> and um, and he's got high elves, which aren't aren't fantastic. It's happening. Yes. Oh god, doing my play history on oh. Crusaders. Few. GG. Um. Right, I can do some blocks now, can't I? Where's Mighty Blow guy? Blitzing a hobgoblin. Could he do it in three dice? Maybe he could. Oh, good job it was three. Punch him in the next one. Achieve not a lot.
Foul is bull. <laughs> no, I should try and get a star player point, shouldn't I? Bosh. See you later. Lovely chaps. No, that was a pretty good result, wasn't it? I mean, did have the TV advantage, but it's still amazing to beat Chaos Dwarves. 11 AV breaks to 7. I blocked him. I was pretty happy. I don't think he played bad, but it was just the little, the little things every turn accumulate, don't they? So... I think I'm gonna go block on this one. Maybe might you blow on both of them. Get rowdy. Get rowdy. Block on him, obviously. It's not. It's not a choice for him. Best if I go has to be a bodger. Um, could go up to twelve players, but it's already a decent chunk of TV, isn't it? Eleven forty. It's already tw twelve ten. No, that's not. It's not. 11.42, it's already 1,200. Um, 12.60 with only 12 guys. I guess it's alright, isn't it? 12.60 is a lot of TV, though. Tem I'm more tempted to be 1,200 with that. With nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I have to blood sure hands. <laughs> 